Yo, good morning. Right, we are at an extension that we are doing. Um, now, I have carried out an EICR because we've got to change the consumer unit, so I always do a full test first. As everybody knows, that's what, what we do, and we found numerous faults. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the visual um, faults that I've found and explain how they've come about and why they are so dangerous to anybody else being here so stay tuned like i say i hope you subscribed if you haven't the link's in the corner somewhere I'm not sure it's down here or down there I'm not sure but press it and let's let's all be friends so let's get stuck into it Today's video is sponsored by Tradeify. Uh, Tradeify is, if you, for those of you who don't know what Tradeify is, it is the fastest growing job software management system. Um, so we use it for all our quoting, estimates, things like that. For example, this job here, uh, carried out the EICR, I literally loaded it up on my iPad, sat in the van, reloaded, and all the, all the estimates for all the repairs, sent it straight off to the client the client's got clear terms and conditions on there we went through those discussed them because he's you know you can send emails backwards and forwards but obviously we discussed it there and then um, made some alterations because he added a bit more on easy simple did that straight away sent it to him he clicked on accept happy days we're now cracking on with the job so like I say, go and check it out. There's a 14 day free uh, trial, which I'll put in the link uh, in the description, sorry, below. If you use the promo code GHAWK50, you'll get 50% off for the first three months that you sign up for it. So like I say, give it a, give it a go. We've been using it for, for ooh, over a year now and we wouldn't be uh, with anything else. So like I say, go and check Tradeify out. Link's in the description. So here's the consumer unit, okay? So it's of a older standard. Um, what's that, a 16th edition board. So we've got numerous circuits going in because of that that, that uh, we've built. I say we built, that basically Sean and the rest of the lads have built. I have not laid a brick here. Um, nobody wants me to lay a brick here, do the boys? Let's be honest. No, thank you. It's Just not gonna happen. Yeah, definitely not. So we've got new circuitry going in. The kitchen's kind of staying where it is, um, but there's also some faults that we've picked up. So one of the faults that we've got is our cooker and our hob are actually connected with each other. And when you do the calculations on there, it's drawing way too much than what it's actually need, even when you apply to diversity. So that's one of the issues. That's one of the issues. So. Here's my sort of semi EICR setup, especially in here, it makes life loads easier. Um, there's also faults on the uh, lighting circuits, um, and there's also faults on your the ring final, which is actually, it's a bit of a strange one, because they've done, so it's a bungalow essentially, and they've got front and back. But the kitchen, as well, is all on that back, and it's there's, there's a lot of points on there. So what we've done, so like I say, this is more for your visual. So I did all the testing, I'll go through all that, that with you. But on the visual, for example, so we've, I always have a little walk around the property, especially here, because there's been lots of um, additions and things like that that is, that's gone on over the years, previous owners and all the rest of it. So one of the things that you've got to, you've got to sort of get into your head of looking everywhere looking on in in places where you think oh what's you know what's that was that different has that had an outside light is it had this it's had that you know it's it's important to do so so like here for example there's obviously been some alterations gone on um so after talking to the homeowner we've now realized that there used to be prior to him loads and loads of garden lighting and security systems and all sorts of stuff going on so in here there's actually um there's two mcbs in here that they've, they've all been disconnected now but there's two mcbs in here and then that used to feed out and then like these were your switches for the outside lights but what they've then done is then they've altered that and now run that across for your for the aircon which okay bit of a laziness it's not failed on that because the rest of the stuff is not connected anymore 
um, but it's just making sure that that has not got any water ingress and things like that which it, it hasn't in fairness it actually hasn't so that's not failed but it's things like that you need to have a look at and think what well, that's unusual why is that that there so, so that's that's a little thing to just sort of bear in mind so one of the other things you've got is up there you've got a uh, halogen floodlight which is clearly broken it's it's all bust anyway but you also notice that you've got twin and earth cable out there that's twin and earth was never designed to be used in it externally and that being said with the um, temperature changes and things like that then it cracks it breaks because it gets hot in the summer and cold in the winter and it breaks and, and you know the insulation perishes and comes off so that's another another thing to obviously inspect so on here there used to be on this patio a uh, post light and then that's been cut and if you turn that on that stays live so the end of that those those cores there are actually live so that's another that's a major fail on that yes you can isolate it but a toddler can turn that on and that's the way I try and think about these things if, a, if an infant or a toddler child anyone who's not quite sure what's going on can turn that on and touch an exposed conductor that's a C1 for me um, so like on here on the this is the back of the garage now and we have got a cable hanging out surely that's not on see permanently alive again exposed ends on on that you got the gate here how many people will shut the gate and just grab that there and swing it shut loads of people so that's another another thing that needs sorting um, the other little bit we've got down here is so this here is the supply for uh, that's to do with uh, security and this one here is the original supply for the garage again it's not terminated it's not terminated at all um, so that needs to be sorted because it's not terminated into um, its enclosure properly also the so that's what they've done they've drilled a 20 mil hole but not actually use the gland so that's now got water in it because when you take the front off I'll what I'll do is I'll put a, I'll put a picture up somewhere uh, so you can see what's actually inside there so that's that needs sorting um, now we've got a metal clad uh, consumer unit in here um, and yeah there's no RCD protection here because it's actually connect it's actually RCD uh, got protection from the main board because it's on the RCD side so that's okay but the board's a little bit loose nothing crazy it's not hanging off the wall but again just just note it down probably further investigation if you wanted to go down that that route um, but in here we've had a little look see in here and we've got that little beauty in there so that needs to come out so it's there's little bits so obviously like I say this is just on your visuals now I'm going to jump inside and I'm going to show you what I found in the loft right so you've now found me in the loft um, this is a bungalow access is perfect got a lovely ladder which I'm standing on right now and um, like I say the the access is is brilliant so there's no excuse for you not to come up it's all 90% boarded as well so obviously you're not going to be taking those up you're not going to be moving everything about but it's worth coming up so on here for example as I came up I found another cable and that's another live uh, cable which there used to be um, a light on top of here to highlight this bit um, again we've got exposed uh, potentially exposed conductors on there um, we've also got uh, singly insulated cables that are not inside their enclosure so again another another failure there um, so we're in the loft okay so what we've got here this is all old security system it's all been altered now so a lot of this is actually obsolete and it's going to be removed but it's worth 
having a little little look see round. Um, now, what I've brought you up here for mainly is we've got oh, climbing up. So, in the loft space, it goes all the way down there. Um, so it goes down that way, and then it goes. So the new extension, just to sort of give you some reference, the new extension's actually off this way. Kitchen's here, uh, and then the consumer unit is is actually uh, down there. Um, one of the things that I've noticed as well is that a lot of the ducting work isn't actually connected. So I'll mention that to uh, to the client and get those sorted. But right down that far end, okay, so right down there is, oh, rather than me clambering down and I'll show you physically, I actually took some photos, okay. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll explain them to you now, okay, so I'll try and get that light up off, off there. Um, right, so what we've got down, down that far end, okay, so you've got an ensuite and a master bedroom. In the master bedroom, uh, bedroom you've got all down lights now all the cpcs are not connected they're not they've all just been cut off so it's a, a we've been been told now it's actually a builder that did that so he's cut cut those off okay there's no um there's also singly insulated cables that are not inside their enclosure as well okay so they it's just a no-go i've also which it could be that i've got faults because i have got faults on that lighting circuit but that could be part of the issue so we've got to rectify those so they're not the nicest of lights anyway the enclosures are all some of them are broken some of them are missing uh, on the covers so like i say i'll put the photos up or or i've just have done um so you can see for yourself on there so they're going to be replaced because they're not um they're not going to work that's not going to work like that so they're all being replaced and hopefully that should sort that lot out now like i say not very good uh doing that um what i'm going to do now is i'm going to run you through my plan of actually repairing the um the hob circuit because that's actually going to be a right Pain. And in fact, we're going to go down. I'm going to try and go down this way. So, hold on. So, we'll clamber through. So, when you're in the loft as well, you need to be looking out for things that are like. So, you've got sort of cable damage, things like that. Uh, and if there's any like rodents, things like that, I've caused because. I've rewired quite a lot of houses now um, just because of you know squirrels, rats, mice, chewing cables, things like that. Um, so just bear in mind all that sort of stuff. I've also noticed you've got a bit of a rogue socket which is for the extractor fan for the uh, for the kitchen. Now obviously the ducting's off, so we'll just pop that back on. Is it just a bit of a um, we're up here, we might as well do it like that socket there it's not fixed to anything so again i'd write that down note that down as further investigation or a c3 um just to sort of recommend that so like i say the consumer unit is is over over there so where we've moved a lot of the insulation back anyway because we've got to get cables to it um so i've got to get a, a six mil from there it's got to run down down here and it's actually in this bay here where where my light's shining is where i've got to get the six mil so what we'll do is i'll go uh go back downstairs sorry it's a bit dark there i'll go back downstairs into the kitchen and i'll show you what i'm planning on doing to rectify it but i just wanted to really show you how important it is to to come up and drop down lights you know it's and have a little inspection on what's what's hiding in the lofts because it's, it's it's easy really being in here having a look right back in the kitchen so consuming it's up there so the plan is straight above coming across into the loft space and i'm planning to probably take this unit off because i've got a complete stainless steel piece of metal there which is actually going to be an absolute pig to sort out so 
first leg comes to here from the cooker circuit and then it comes from there and goes round and feeds into this one and then from that one goes obviously down to your the, the hob here so my plan is to take this off I'm hoping that I can use like the cable tongue to get up past this stainless steel because if I have to take that off it's not going back on it's going to be damaged it's going to get bent and all the rest of it so that's that's something else that uh, that's one of the, the plans for me to sort out the other thing is on here there's a lot of like I say there's loads of different lighting bits and bobs that has gone on over the years so obviously having that building that relationship up with a client is actually talking to them more going oh what do you use what don't you use all these on here so you've got a bulkhead there uh, and also there's a PIR on here and there's quite a few other bits and bobs dotted around the property that are actually obsolete now so that is where those switches are on top of the um, in the loft that's what all that lot goes to and it also is dotted around the rest of the house so we can we can get rid of them ignore them they're not part of the electrical installation anymore because they they're going to be disconnected which is if I wasn't going to disconnect them, then yes, you have to inspect them. Um, but obviously, I'm going to be disconnecting them right now anyway, so they're not going to be doing anything. So yeah, so that is the plan. I just wanted to show you that little video um, of how I go about doing the visuals on an EICR and how important they are to do properly and thoroughly. Because if you're not doing that, then ultimately you're not doing the job properly, in my view. I'm not expecting you to go lifting up all the insulation in inside um, in the loft and stuff like that because that's un unreasonable. Uh, you're not lifting floor coverings up. You're not doing any of those things because they are not reasonable on a vis visual inspection. But what I've just shown you, you can get to all of that easily. There's no real excuse for, for not doing it. It's just being lazy if you're not. So hopefully, this has helped if you are a bit unsure on how you go about it or how you want to go about it um, but if it's been help for you then don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, leave your comments below as usual and uh, yeah we'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching guys take care